Hi guys, welcome back to Ages Paintings. Um, today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how I make these beautiful boxes. Um, so I started creating these boxes to put in my resin trinket dishes that I create. Um, and I try to kind of mimic it on the top um, to make it like custom look, to make it a really pretty and it just adds something to it. Um, so these resin trinket dishes um, I created um, using crystal resin and mica powders. Um, let me know if you would like me to show you how I create these, uh, these ripples in, in the flower. Um, and I can do that too. I, I can do a quick tutorial to show you how I create these. Um, so today I am going to make two boxes for these um, so let me just take this out of the way so this is another small trinket dish that I created um, and I'm gonna do a square box this time this is just a regular you know cardboard box um, plain when you add something on top of it, it just adds your, you know, um, an art another artistic touch. <laughs> uh, it just personalizes a little bit more. Uh, so, this is for this one. And then this box is a little bit bigger. This is for my resin coasters. So, I create these coasters. I don't know if you can see it. So, they're yeah, double sided. So this is a set of three, three coasters. Um, so I put them in this box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of mimic the flower that's here on top of the box. So you don't need to prep it in any way. Uh, this is very simple process. I'm not going to spend too much time with it. Um, very quick. I have my paints mixed already. I use acrylic paints, uh, mostly Artist Loft, Liquid X Basics. Um, there is some Arteza, there's some, um, what is it? Another one, I forgot the name. So there's all over, like whatever acrylic paints you use, I just mix them up with Floetrol and water. So this mixture is for um, Dutch pour. Uh, so the recipe is 30 grams of acrylic paint with, no, not 30 grams, sorry, 40 grams of acrylic paint with 80 grams of Floetrol and 30 grams of water. This is Canela Siraco's recipe. Um, so I mix all my paints with this recipe and I put them in these squeeze bottles. And just shake them before you start using them. Okay, so I'm going to do this one for these coasters. So I'm going to use Telo Green. This is from Arteza. Uh, this is going to be for the center. And then I'm going to use Metallic Cobalt Blue. This is going to be for the petals. And for this one, I'm going to use Lemon Yellow by Artist Loft. This is going to be the center. And I'm going to use Light Violet and a little bit of this Violet by Arteza. Um, so this one is running out. I have just a teeny bit left, so that's why I'm using this one. Um, I don't want to mix it right now, but if I did, I have this, and I would have just used this. So you don't need too much paint for this. Um, as you can see, nothing really happens to the box. Um, it stays proper. Uh, so I just stamp it inside uh, with handmade with love stamp, and then I'm going to sign it right here. So you can see this is this, this is very simple, but it looks really cute. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna start with this one. So I'm just gonna take off the lids and put the boxes aside for now. Okay. So let's start with this one. Okay, so I'm just going to 
put it in the center it doesn't have to be perfect just kind of eyeball the center okay and I'm gonna put purple around it in a circle just like so okay if this was the the violet I would have just left it but since I don't have too much of this I'm just gonna try to add to it because I really want the dark purple okay all right so now what you need to do is you need to take a straw and I'm gonna start blowing at it but I'm gonna start blowing in the middle outwards okay um, so I'm gonna try to make I think this one I did six petals actually seven so this one I'm thinking I'll try doing five if they look good then I'll leave them if not then I might go further so it, it will just dictate how it wants you to go so let me just start Let's start from here so start let's keep it here and then just blow it in which direction should I go this way taking this part off a little bit with wet towel okay now let it let it do its thing let it come up just gonna do a little bit not too much we don't want the the box to burn that's it Okay, so I'm thinking I don't see the, the dark purple too much, so I'm just going to start adding it a little bit if it comes out. Come on. So as I said, when you're doing it, it will tell you like what it wants, <laughs> basically as all fluid paintings. Okay, so now let's go back in. This one is not moving. This one is bothering me. So just take it out.
There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let it dry. And once it's dry, if I don't like some parts, I can always go over them with a little bit of brush. But I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. So this will be for this one. Okay, now let's do this one. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna put this in the middle. I'm going to put the cobalt blue on the side. Okay, so that one I kept playing with because I didn't really like the light violet, how it took over because I really wanted to see the dark purple, the dark, the, the violet. Um, but I was able to bring it in. I don't want this flower to look perfect. It just should be um, very organic. So for this one, I'm going to start again. I'm thinking if I want to add a little bit of uh, silver to it. Uh, just teeny bit in the middle. Just like so. Let's see what happens with this one. So once I take it out and then I put it back in. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna leave it like that and you can see so many pretty cells are developing. That's because of that silver that's underneath. I don't wanna I don't want to cover the whole area with that one. I'm just going to leave it like that. So this one is going to be for this. Okay, this one didn't turn out to be as pretty as I would like, but that's okay. Once it starts getting dry, then I can manipulate it and I can fix it. Um, the thing that actually bothers me about this is this yellow that took over a lot of the purple and then this light violet it just kind of disappeared or mixed with yellow to create this this weird color um, so once this is dry I'm just gonna go over those parts uh, with this one I didn't really have to do anything because it was just yellow and red and it came out really pretty I might actually not touch that once it's dry, I'll see how it looks. But this one I'm not gonna touch at all because I really like how it turned out. This is how it's going to go over. I pack these um, coasters with some parchment paper in between so they don't get ruined once they touch each other. Ah, my glove just got stuck in there. <laughs> And this one is going to be on this. So these are the boxes. Okay, so these are the final boxes. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
For this one, I just went over with a little bit of violet to just kind of make sure that it represented the same color that was that. Um, so now I'm happy with it. I'm gonna just leave it like that. And this one, I'm gonna leave it as this also. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial. Uh, I'm sorry I forgot to turn my camera on when I was fixing this flower because it just wasn't working for me. Um, but here it is. Um, I didn't do too much, just took this small brush and picked up the same purple and just kind of went over around it to cover it with dark purple and that's it okay all right so thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed it please do subscribe leave me a comment um like share and let me know if you would like me to show you how to do these and these um and some of my jewelry that i've been working on um and i would love to do that Thanks, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.